next questions. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm Rato Kolobs. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe and join the family. OMG, I can't believe I'm finally doing this. I'm so excited. This will be my first YouTube video and won't be anything long. It will just be a short and sweet video. It gets to know me. Um, I did do a questionnaire on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do follow me at Rato Kolobs as well. And yeah, so I just asked you guys to ask me a few questions you guys like to know about me. And today I'll be answering your question. And yes, please like this video, comment and share. Okay, guys, let's get into the questions. So first question says, who is Tando? And tell us a bit about yourself. Well, guys, I am Rata Gulops, but formally, according to Home Affairs, I am Nuno Tando Levato Golobe. I'm 22 years old. I stay in Johannesburg. Um, I'm a foodie guys. I love food. Okay. I love food. <laughs> I love food so much. Um, I love to dance guys. I can't dance, but I love to dance. It just makes me happy. Like every morning I just have to dance. Like I'm always late for work because I'm literally dancing in the morning. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a Pisces. Um, I'm the first born of three daughters. First born stand up. I know that's right. But yeah, guys, I'm just an easygoing, chilled, fun, loving girl. I love to have fun, guys. Be it indoor vibes, outdoor vibes. I'm just that type of girl. I love to have fun. I love easy vibes as well. So yeah. Okay, next question is, what is the objective of your channel? Um, Honestly, guys, um, I don't know what they call a niche, you know? I love YouTube. I'm always on YouTube. I've loved watching YouTube for a long time. And I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. I don't know why. I just love it so much. And I was like, you know what? I want to start a YouTube channel. I was like, why not start it and see how it goes? It's fun. So it will just be a little bit of this and that. Maybe a get rid with me, a vlog, story time because, hey, <laughs> story times, anything. You know, guys, it will just be anything until I find what... I want to do with my channel and which direction I want to take. So for now, it will just be fun. So like I said, please do subscribe because it's about Nandi Lana, okay? <laughs> okay, next question is, where do you stay? Like I said, I, I stay in Johannesburg. I wouldn't say where exactly, but yes, I stay in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, how was Varsity Live? Guys, I don't really have much of a Varsity Live, okay? Like I didn't get to finish Varsity of my own reasons not because of anything deep because of my own reasons but i did to did do two years of varsity um i did first year in varsity college science and i did second i did my other year which was also first year at uj but guys the two years i did do oh i did go to varsity it was so fun especially my first first year like the year after high school it was so fun i had so much fun um but we were playing a lot i think it's because i moved with quite a few of my friends from high school to varsity so like it was i felt like what can i say i felt free you know because i had people i was used to you know i made some friends as well there we just became one big group just having fun we did focus more on just like living the varsity life and we didn't focus a lot on school which is I'm sorry mom if you're watching <laughs> but yeah we had so much fun i enjoy it personally i enjoy it. same thing with uj uj i did try to focus on school a lot but then i was like mm -mm. but i did enjoy and yeah so enjoy varsity life the two years i did were amazing i had so much fun and yeah what are your passions honestly guys <laughs> this question when i saw it i was like damn you know um i feel like i'm at a point where i haven't found really what my passions are you know um i'm still trying to figure myself i think that's why i didn't finish not i think that is why i didn't finish um varsity because i wasn't finding what i wanted to do you know first year i did law second year i did marketing but still those things were not me you know i didn't feel like i was doing something i love because I don't like wasting time, you know, so I want to go to varsity, study, and then know that thing I'm studying, I'll be able to do it 
after you know after varsity and be happy and you know like be content so i haven't really found what my passion is and i am on the journey of finding it i am trying a lot of things like since varsity i've tried like different things you know like different jobs you know did real estate for a few months worked as a waitress worked in insurance what else i do i try to do this club promoting thing but i was like okay, it's not my thing like i'm a friendly person but <laughs> i'm not that social you know but yeah point is i've tried a lot of things and i'm still trying things to find what i want to do and hopefully i'll be you know i'll find my passion soon where do you see yourself in the next five years i see myself knowing who i am i see myself doing what i love whatever it is that i'll be doing at that time but i see myself in a more stable place in my life in a more happier place i'm happy now I'm like life is good but you know in five years i want to be you know in my element in my peak you know um yeah so in five years definitely i'll be knowing who rato collapse is and i'll be living my best life more than i am right now <laughs> you know so yeah five years and hopefully in five years i'll have a little bundle of joy guys i love babies not now <laughs> not now <laughs> but hopefully in five years i'll have my little one my little rado and yeah it'll just be the life what's your dream destination guys paris i don't know why i don't know why but i love paris the eiffel tower i want to visit the the love lock bridge if people like put like you know their names or their partners names or each other's names on the lock and they leave it on the bridge i want to do that um i just want to see i mean people say it's a city of love i'm love i love love so i would love to go there and just experience how it is it's definitely my dream destination and definitely will be going soon that is the goal we are going soon but yeah paris i love it um what's the one thing you can't live without this will sound a bit cliche or whatever but literally i cannot live without my mom and sisters i love those people with all my heart guys those who know me personally and those who have me on whatsapp know that i'm always with my mom and sisters like we're so close we do a lot of things together and they really are my favorite people in the world so i really wouldn't live without them like i think that's why we spend so much time together because like we are each other's you know your kingdom man you know <laughs> just love each other i love them and yeah my best friend as well i love my best friend shout out to you Paisy, my baby my love and chocolates but most definitely my mom and sisters please my rider dies till the end okay thank you <laughs> um anything that you've done that you regret no as crazy as it sounds there's nothing i've done that i regret like i don't do a lot of crazy things like i'm not that wild i don't do so there's nothing anything that i've done i feel like in that moment had to be done i don't want to sound deep and shit, but, <laughs> but everything i've done like people always say with you everything happens for a reason so if i've done something and i've taken that decision i feel like in that moment i was meant to take the decision and Literally, there's nothing I regret doing. Um, I do you have a morning routine and how do you stick with it, guys? I don't have a morning routine. Literally, I love sleep. Waking up for me, no matter how early or how late or whatever I can sleep, waking up for me will always be a, <laughs> you know. So literally, me, I wake up, go take a shower, get ready, I'm out the door. If I have time, I'll eat. You know, if not, I'll just be rushing to work. Cause like I said, I'm always <laughs> rushing. I'm always late for work. So yeah, I don't have a morning routine. I just need to get up and do what I have to do and leave the house. Um, next question is, you are fun, caring, and a kind cousin to Khudumi's younger sister. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, babe. I love you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Tejo. And the next question is, um, what do you currently do? Um, I work. I work for my mom. Guys, let me just say, 
working for family family business is fun because like there's no strict hours there's no you know strict bosses just fun but you never really have time for yourself because i could be chilling here with my friends or wherever i'm on a date or whatever and my mom can call me and be like babe i need this and i have to do it you know so that's the only down part about working for family but there's a lot of lunch brunch chill i get to work at nine that is fun you know i can leave anytime as long as i'm done with my work i can leave that so yeah i work for my mom and yeah okay <laughs> these next questions are them jolo related questions do you guys love relationship content do you guys love jolo i don't know why guys i was just like but home <laughs> anyway are you dating and how is your relationship guys i'm not dating anyone i'm not in a relationship um <laughs> guys i'm not dating um i'm dating in the sense that in the sense that um i do speak to people get to know to people or um i go out like maybe on dates that dating is like um do you think you will be ready for a relationship oh sorry when do you think you'll be ready for a relationship i don't know <laughs> i believe in the universe i believe everything is a timing you know and yeah so whenever it happens it will happen um, i'm not searching for it at the same time if it does locate me i will not fight it i'll go with the flow yeah i'm not in a rush like i said i'm just living my life i'm just having fun meeting people speaking to people and whatever happens happens <laughs> why is it so hard to take you on a date i really don't know guys <laughs> but it's not that hard it's not that hard um what can you ex what do you expect out of a man more than anything guys i expect respect and do whatever be a groovers do this that but respect me please also i love a kind man and i love a thoughtful man and yeah man just I, I just love the simple things guys i'm not i don't ask for much just respect just kindness obviously love and thoughtfulness that's it you know how does one make you happy Family food guys if you can feed me <laughs> i promise you i'm the happiest person ever like i'm always eating hence i said i'm a foodie in the beginning <laughs> so food will make me happy and like i said thoughtfulness guys the small things like small gestures like flowers like checking up on me like making sure i'm good you know like just those small things yeah <laughs> so yeah um do you or have you ever had a crush on me <laughs> this is so funny because guys this will get to know me and okay but it's fine um no i don't really have crushes i feel like a crush for me a crush is someone i can't obtain but i do have a crush and I feel like this guy, I wouldn't ever get this guy. I feel like he's so out of my league. So I feel like that's why he's my crush. Because I have this thing of, oh, this guy. You know, this guy. You know? <laughs> but in Genji, I don't have crushes. Because I feel like if you could ask me out and it can happen, then you're not a crush. Because I can obtain you. You know? That sounds bad. <laughs> that sounds so bad. But I hope you guys get me. But yeah, I don't really have crushes. And... I don't think I no no I have never had a crush on you. Um, last question is asked by someone who lives their life just to make mine difficult. There it is. Where is your husband? Which one? Which one, my brother? Which husband? <laughs> like, I don't even have a boyfriend. I'm just like a husband. Why do you live your life just to torture me? <laughs> anyway guys those are all the questions that i got thank you thank you so much for engaging my question here and most importantly for watching this video i hope you liked please do like if you haven't liked please subscribe comment i would love to hear what you guys have to say any advice any tips and anything you guys want to just say i will be happy to read and respond and interact with you guys please do share so we can grow the family and be one big happy family so yeah guys thank you thank you so much i'll see you in my next video which will be soon again like comment subscribe share and 
join the family <laughs> bye guys